Is this the most shocking KO ever? It was an unforgettable evening in November 1998, as the boxing world stood witness to one of the most jaw-dropping knockouts in history. Picture this, Atlantic City, USA. Two heavyweight warriors stepped into the ring. The seasoned Russian veteran, Oleg Maskaev, and the rising American champion, Hasim Rachman. No one could have predicted what unfolded that fateful night. Leading up to the fight, the odds seemed stacked against Maskaev. At 31 years old, he already had his fair share of defeats, with 17 hard-fought victories and 12 awe-inspiring knockouts under his belt. Rahman, on the other hand, at just 26 years old, possessed a near-perfect record of 31 consecutive wins, with an astonishing 26 knockout triumphs. It was clear that Rahman was not only a force to be reckoned with, but might even overpower our hero. In the midst of that electric autumn in New York, the anticipation among boxing fans was palpable. This showdown promised sheer brutality, with both fighters known for their knockout power. The possibility of the fight going the distance seemed slim. Moreover, the stakes were la high, as the winner would earn the chance to challenge the absolute champion of the time, none other than Lennox Lewis. First to grace the arena was the underdog himself, Maskaev. Lower rated and less connected, he entered the ring with determination in his eyes. Then came the entrance of Hasim Rahman, exuding power and athleticism, a star on the rise whose arrival was met with thunderous applause from the crowd. His infectious smile never faded as he confidently ascended the platform. The ring announcer introduced the fighters, and as the bell rang, the audience erupted in anticipation. Let's go. Have a good, clean fight. Let's go. Rachman is a big, strong kid. Right from the start, the contrast in skill and agility between the American and his opponent was glaringly evident. Hasim emerged as the superior fighter, showing exceptional speed, accuracy, and evasive maneuvers. In stark contrast, Oleg moved forward at a sluggish, monotonous pace desperately trying to catch his nimble counterpart. Rachman's face, Rachman not able to get off to that. Rachman trying to pound with the right hand, misses over the top. Now whacks Maske up with the left hook. Maske up missing wildly with his own left. Has really been known for his one-punch knockout power. Well, they both set up with their weight on the back foot by now. Maskaev's face. And a solid. And they both have to have good chance to have gone 11 rounds and 9 rounds with David Tua. Big hand speed and agility. Yeah, Rockman should be able to get there first, it appears. Maskaev blasts him out of there with a left to end the exchange. Good right hand by Rockman. As the bout wore on, Hasim's strength seemed to grow, while our hero noticeably tired. He's 
Rounds are close to even and difficult to score. By the end of the seventh round, it was apparent to almost everyone that the American boxer clearly outclassed Oleg. The young knockout specialist confidently dominated the exchanges, exposing Oleg's fatigue for all to see. But what unfolded in the final three minutes of the eighth round left an indelible mark on the memory of spectators. Nothing foretold the impending drama. Oleg started the round confidently, landing precise jabs on his opponent. However, with just two minutes remaining, the Russian unleashed a brutal one-two combination, causing Rahman's strength to wane noticeably. motivated by his newfound success. Oleg seized the moment, launching a monstrous right hand that cornered Hasim. What happened next is beyond comprehension. Well, half the round still to go. One of the questions in some fights about Rockman had to oh. Right hand puts Rockman on the floor right next to me. The impact of the blow was so immense that Hasim was sent hurtling out of the ring, crashing into the equipment in his path. The spectators were left dumbfounded, unable to believe their own eyes. Amidst the chaos and disbelief, a commotion erupted in the arena. The fighter, initially considered the underdog with odds of three to one stacked against him, managed to pull off the unexpected, astonishing the entire boxing world and securing the title of the Knockout of the decade. So Moskayev gets the KO. Once upon a time, the battle between our valiant heroes didn't reach its conclusion there. In 1998, after an awe inspiring spectacle, Oleg continued his triumphant journey emerging as the world champion hailed by none other than the prestigious WBC. Alas, the taste of victory was short-lived, as our hero soon faced a series of defeats, sending his career spiraling downwards. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Oleg regrouped 
switching teams and channeling his inner strength. In 2003, Maskaev made a thunderous return to the ring, claiming an impressive streak of 12 consecutive victories. In 2005, he earned the right to contend for the WBC title against his formidable Turkish opponent, Sinam Shamil San, in a battle set in the heartland of Germany. Amidst the complicated web of WBC rankings, our hero had to wait patiently for nearly a year to seize his chance at greatness. As fate would have it, the paths of Rachman. Fight, fight. Oleg Maskev may be headed for a two-point round in the 12th. And exhausted Rachman doesn't seem to have the firepower to fight back. And after Nady spent so much time warning Maskev about holding, Rachman's trying to hold to finish, and Maskev is trying to knock him out again. Well, he's far around in a landslide. And he's far enough away that he's not going to fall in our laps either. For well, the moment, Rutland is still rocking on his feet. His feet are not there. I'm telling you, he's... And so, this indomitable Russian immortalized his name in the hallowed pages of boxing lore. Forever remembered as the fighter who, in the darkest of moments, found a way to prevail. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Best of luck to each and every one of you. Publix. So if the heavyweight division is dying in America, it is alive and well in Eastern Europe. And if you think this is not an exciting time for the heavyweight division here, you'd feel differently if you were from Kazakhstan or Ukraine.